Shame is a soul-eating emotion. What you resist, persists. We are not what happened to us, we are what we wish to become. Words are animals, alive with a will of their own. In each of us there is another whom we do not know. The true leader is always led. People don't have ideas. Ideas have people. If the path before you is clear, you're probably on someone else's. The bigger the crowd, the more negligible the individual becomes. Midlife is the time to let go of an overdominant ego and to contemplate the deeper significance of human existence. Life really does begin at 40. Up until then, you are just doing research. Sometimes you have to do something unforgivable just to be able to go on living. It all depends on how we look at things, and not how they are in themselves. When an inner situation is not made conscious it appears outside as fate. There can be no transforming of darkness into light and of apathy into movement without emotion. If one does not understand a person, one tends to regard him as a fool. Find out what a person fears most and that is what he will develop next. Nobody, as long as he moves among the chaotic currents of life, is without trouble. Without this plane with fantasy, no creative work has ever yet come to birth. The debt we owe to the play of the imagination is incalculable. Loneliness does not come from having no people around you, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to you. You are what you do, not what you say you will do. The privilege of a lifetime is to become who you truly are. I am not what happened to me, I am what I choose to become. The most terrifying thing is to accept oneself completely. There's no coming to consciousness without pain. Thinking is difficult, that's why most people judge. We cannot change anything unless we accept it. Shame is a soul-eating emotion. The reason for evil in the world is that people are not able to tell their stories. Where wisdom reigns, there is no conflict between thinking and feeling. One does not become enlightened by imagining figures of light but by making the darkness conscious. No tree, it is said, can grow to heaven unless its roots reach down to hell. Knowing your own darkness is the best method for dealing with the darknesses of other people. The meeting of two personalities is like the contact of two chemical substances, if there is any reaction, both are transformed. Everything that irritates us about others can lead us to an understanding of ourselves. Your visions will become clear only when you can look into your own heart. Who looks outside, dreams, who looks inside, awakes. The best political, social, and spiritual work we can do is to withdraw the projection of our shadow onto others. Wholeness is not achieved by cutting off a portion of one's being, but by integration of the contraries. The shoe that fits one person pinches another, there is no recipe for a living that suits all cases. Where love rules, there is no will to power, and where power predominates, love is lacking. The one is the shadow of the other. 
the fool is the precursor to the Savior. I don't aspire to be a good man. I aspire to be a whole man. Where your fear is, there is your task. The wrong we have done, thought, or intended will wreak its vengeance on. For better to come, good must stand aside. The secret is that only that which can destroy itself is truly alive. We cannot change anything unless we accept it. Condemnation does not liberate, it oppresses. Life is a battleground. It always has been, and always will be, and if it were not so, existence would come to an end. Faith, hope, love, and insight are the highest achievements of human effort. They are found given by experience. The sole purpose of human existence is to kindle a light in the darkness of mere being. The gods have become our diseases. Often the hands will solve a mystery that the intellect has struggled with in vain. Neurosis is always a substitute for illegitimate suffering. Intuition does not denote something contrary to reason but something outside of the province of reason. A particularly beautiful woman is a source of terror. As a rule, a beautiful woman is a terrible disappointment. A creative person has little power over his own life. He is not free. He is captive and driven by his daimon. Whenever we give up, leave behind, and forget too much, there is always the danger that the things we have neglected will return with added force. Every transformation demands as its precondition the ending of a world the collapse of an old philosophy of life. Know all the theories, master all the techniques, but as you touch a human soul be just another human soul. Psychological or spiritual development always requires a greater capacity for anxiety and ambiguity.